Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Are you ready for some more resin art? We're working on this new canvas and art is about trying new and different things. And one of the things that I really like is glitter. So we are going to incorporate some glitter into this one. And it's just a white chunky glitter. And I have some of the Super Gloss Mod Podge. So all I'm going to do is stick my brush in here and I'm going to kind of do, for lack of a better description, sort of put like a vein of glitter through the canvas. Might be thicker in some spots, thinner in others, doesn't matter. This is an experiment that we're doing. Now I'm going to take the glitter and I'm going to sprinkle it over the Mod Podge. And now I'm going to pat it down and I'm going to add it in different places around the canvas. And we're just going to go with white this time. Maybe we'll use a different color next time. And now we're going to let this just completely dry. That Mod Podge has to be completely clear before we start working with the resin. So we'll just let the glitter sit right on it and um, it'll kind of sink right into it. We'll tap off any excess and we'll see how it looks. Our glitter and Mod Podge has dried and now I'm going to start mixing different colors. I'll have the colors and everything down in the description below. And I have mixed 16 ounces of resin. So I'm going to just start separating it into different cups. We're going to do a lot of purples and blues this time and I might throw a little bit of a surprise color in there as well. Like maybe a yellow or an orange. I haven't really decided yet. I'm just taking different colors and then I'm going to drip some of the silicone on there just a little bit and I'm going to drip a little more color on it too and it helps it spread out and it looks really cool. So I want to move some of the stuff around a little bit. lighter and pop the bubbles. Remember if you add anything to your resins it might make it a flammable substance so you just always have to be very careful. And then we want to let this cure a minimum of 12 hours before we even handle it. I'm going to put a protective coat over the resin. I have cleaned it up and where the silicone was there are little indents which is kind of cool and if you want that to be part of the landscape of your piece. That's perfect. I thought I'd like to put another coat over it, even everything out. So I have about eight ounces roughly here and that should more or less cover it. I made sure everything was level. All right, now I'm going to help move it to the edges.
then you want to let it just cure a minimum of 12 hours before you handle it. Here it is all finished and I love the way the colors came out. Um, I was a little bit worried when I put the orange on there I thought oh no this is not going to work. Um, turns out I actually love the orange in there. Orange is not normally my color but every once in a while I like to toss it in. Let me know what you think of it. I'm going to call it a wash. Not a wash but like a wash like you're a wash in the ocean. You're kind of tumbling around there. So I'm going to bring it a little closer so you can see it up close and you can maybe get the depth a little bit. It never really shows up on camera as well as it does in person. So thank you guys so much for watching. Are you creating resin art or any kind of other projects? If so, be sure to tag me when you post it um, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'd love to see it. And if you are specifically doing resin art, be sure to use this hashtag. If you're new here, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Um, I'm kind of doing a lot of resin art right now, but I do other things as well. So you don't want to miss any of that. I'll definitely see you next time, you guys. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.